Hello, hi everybody. Welcome to Bookmarked Chapter 24. Today we're going to be talking about rereading books. You are all on my channel. My name is Hannah. Oh, I forget the order. Is it me next? It's me next. Zoe. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. <Hello. laughs> I am Zoe from Red by Zoe. And I'm Haley from Haley and Bookland. So as I mentioned, today we're going to be talking about books that we are, re or not books we're rereading, but rereading books in general, like as a concept. If we reread books, what books we have reread, what books we want to reread. Um, but starting off, what books are you all currently reading? I'm currently actually rereading a book. Um, and no one's surprised. I'm rereading yes, Daisy Jones and the Six. <laughs> My gosh, um, whoa. I know, right? At number four. Is that reread number four? Technically, um, because I didn't technically finish reread number three, but like I basically finished it. I just like, yeah, didn't I read the four. Yeah, I didn't finish the end, but I'd read the end like twice already, like three times already. So like I reread parts and then I also reread the whole thing. So yeah, this is technically reread number four, but it's also reread number three, but it's fine. <laughs> I just finished The Vanishing Stair by Maureen Johnson, which is the sequel to Truly Devious. What are you currently reading, Haley? Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. I'm not very far into it. I just started it, so I'm on like page two because I finished The Princess and the Fangirl by Ashley Poston earlier today. So then I needed a new read. And I might actually be able to do the Owls readathon now because it was really touch and go for a bit there. But if I finish Truly Devious, then I will be able to do it. Woo! Well, I actually yeah. just started a reread of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, so. Amazing. Yay. So on We're really on brand. I love it. Honestly. Um, did we want to start off by talking about the polls? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, on our Twitter, which will be linked down below for you guys, it's at Bookmarked Club. If you guys have any questions, you can ask them there or in the chat. Also, I'm sorry if I sound funny. I just got Invisalign and I'm still getting used to it. Um, but we have polls that we do for like some of the live shows and we did some for this one. So the first question for our polls is, do you reread books? And 86% of you said yes, and 14% of you said no. Well, actually, and all three of us also did the poll. So what did you guys did. vote? I voted yes. I voted yes. Yes. voted yes. yes. <laughs> no, I um, voted no, clearly. <laughs> Skew in the data. Um, next was, how many times have you reread your favorite books? So... 33% of you said one, two, two times, and then 35% sa said three to four, 15% said five plus, and 17% said that they lost count. I said I lost count. I was going to put that, but my finger slipped, so I did five plus, but like that works too. <laughs> I, um, I put it three to four because on average, I generally read my favorite books three to four times. There are only a few books that I've read like more times than I can count. Interesting. Soon um, it'll be Daisy Jones. <laughs> yeah, honestly, yeah. <laughs> Very <laughs> sad. Right. Um, so next is a follow up to that, and that is when rereading your favorite book, do you read the whole book or just skip to your favorite parts? I reread the whole book. Um, oh, <laughs> your data counts first. <laughs> just focus on mine. Okay, 85% of you said the whole book and 15% said that they skipped to their favorite parts. So I said I reread the whole book. I reread the whole book. I didn't answer this one because I do both. Mm. Yeah, I, that makes sense. Yeah, I thought yeah. that would be interesting to talk about because you said that you yeah. are doing both the Daisy Jones. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, so next is, do you feel guilty for rereading a book when you could be reading something new? And 45% of you said yes, and 55% of you said no. This was kind of surprising to me. I'm not going to lie. I feel super guilty. So me I too. Yes. Oh, I don't feel guilty at all. <laughs> well, you're more confident in your decisions than we are. <laughs> oh my God. I don't um, think I would. If, if I didn't do booktube, I wouldn't feel guilty, I don't yeah. think. But it's just the fact that when we do wrap-ups or something and people will be like, wow, you're reading that again, Zoe? And I don't know. Yeah, that's I the thing. Very people insecure, so much. Yeah. No, I feel the same way. That makes sense for sure. But like, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to read my book as many times as I want to. <laughs> I love it. 
Uh, so next is, have you ever reread a book just to annotate your favorite quote? And 41% of you said yes, and 59% said no. I think I said yes. Yeah, I'm pretty I sure yes. I've done that. I, I said, said yes. yes. I did that with Pride and Prejudice and with Turtles yeah. all the way down. Yeah, I did it Didn't with Turtles it with and Daisy, Daisy Jones. I, would, I mm-hmm. annotated as I went with Daisy mm-hmm. Jones. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, and the final question is, would you rather reread your favorite book or take a chance on a new story? I, uh, well, other people's data first. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I keep on forgetting that these aren't just questions. Um, so 30% of you said reread and 70% said take a chance on a new story. I also said that I would rather take a chance on a new story. Take a chance on me. Yes. I that also put that. in my head the entire time. <laughs> no, I, that, that is constantly in my head since we watched Mamma Mia. I just like say that to myself. It's so Honestly. applicable to every everyday life. Truly. I didn't answer that one either because I do whatever I feel like doing in the moment. So (laughs) that's how polls work, Anna. (laughs) Well, okay, it depends. Like right now, I don't feel like reading a new book. I just want to reread books. And at other times, all I want to do is read new books. And I couldn't, like, you couldn't get me to reread my favorite book. So Mm -hmm. there you go. Well, (laughs) well. Now on to. Let's just start our discussion. Why do you guys like to reread books? I think it's a comfort thing. Um, So I rewatch a lot of my favorite TV shows too. Um, Yeah, (laughs) shocking. Uh Um, Have I seen Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood like 70 times? Yeah, Avatar The Last Airbender, I don't even know how many times. Yeah, Um, I think it's definitely like a comfort thing. If I love something, I don't want to just experience it one time. I like being able to go back to it and re-experience it because every time I reread a story, I feel like I get something new out of it. And usually with my favorite books, that's the case because there's so much to them that I can like decipher and analyze um, that reading them once isn't enough for me. Mm -hmm. What about you, Haley? Um, I like rereading, I guess, because it kind of feels like coming home and it definitely is a comfort thing in that way. Um, But I really have to either love a story to reread it or it has to be one which this could really be any book but I have a terrible memory so I will forget a lot of things after I read them so if I'm like interested in a book or I can't really remember how I fully felt about it or like the case for a book club book of the month scythe that's really hard to say with this and I'm not, that's like the most difficult word to say right now um but that one um, I wanted to reread it because I don't remember anything and then the sequel came out and people were going wild over it so I wanted to know like what people were thinking about it but I also like to reread to see if my perspective on something has changed. I definitely agree with that. Also somebody asked where my Edward doll is. He's right there every- ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Just overlooking your bed. Yes. He's he the likes guest to watch of the sleep. week. <laughs> Um, I agree with what both of you said. Usually I like to reread because it reminds me why I like to read in the first place. Um, Especially when you're in a reading slump, it feels so good to be like, oh yeah, I don't hate all books. I'm just like not in the mood to read like this thing or like I didn't like this and that's why I like suddenly hate reading right now. Um, Also, it does feel like coming home and usually my favorites are my favorites because there's so much that I love about them. So like going back and analyzing it and seeing like how it all really tied together, like with Daisy Jones, seeing how like it, you could see the hints earlier on in the novel. I love that. But I also agree that even with books that like were my old favorites, talking about like the 24 hour readathon I just did, like I reread Twilight and I, it was a lot of fun because I got to see how my, how I've changed and how my opinions have changed but like I still can remember how much it meant to me so like it's more nuanced like I don't hate it now it's just interesting to see how the things that you love stayed the same but you've changed so you can appreciate it in a different light now even if you don't really enjoy if you would read it for the first time now if that makes any sense it does I understood what you meant yeah (laughs) Um, um, we also have, um, what, which book have you reread the most? Do you know? 
For me, it's either New Moon or City of Bones, and I don't know. <laughs> New Moon? Okay, you it's were because- Team Jacob. <laughs> I was team Jacob and I was trash for new moon because I was new moon like Bella in new moon when I was 12 oh, or 13, no. which Jumping I know that sounds really sad, but I promise I wasn't jumping off of cliffs or anything. Going on right um, on but <laughs> um, it's definitely either new moon or city of bones. I think it's city of bones or, or like the entire, um, the first original trilogy of the mortal instrument series because when i first read those books i i literally don't know how many times i read them like i read the first three and then i instantly read them again and again and again and again um but i've completely lost count so it's either one of those what about you I don't know what one i don't know um, have you read alice in wonderland because you read it for class and then i'm sure you've read it for fun i would probably five times not that many times I'm not big on rereading. Not that many times. Well, it's so short. Like, mm-hmm. I could reread it easily. But um, I'd say probably about five times. So the book thief I've only read twice. Um, But I guess Alice would be the one that I've reread the most. I did go through a phase where I would reread The Fault in Our Stars a lot. <laughs> like, all the Got time. Got some sad ladies here tonight. <laughs> I think I reread that like at least 14 times. <laughs> oh wow. So I guess that one, but like that was so long ago. So it still counts. Yeah, yeah, I guess. <laughs> um, I think the book that I've reread the most um are ones that help me fall asleep because I like to listen to audiobooks while I fall asleep. So the Pride and Prejudice audiobook narrated by uh what's her face? Something, something or other. <laughs> That's her name. Rosamund Pike. Yes, that's on Audible. It's so relaxing. So I just put it on when I'm going to bed. And like, I'm sure I've read it 10 times. Um, But also Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I've reread that so many times because I read it first when I was six years old. And then I just like to pick it up all the time. So it's usually like my childhood favorites. And also Twilight, because seventh and eighth grade, I just reread that book. Literally, me too. <laughs> and I, I don't grade, even like, know I anymore. Did, before I found the Mortal Instruments, like I didn't read a different book besides Twilight. <laughs> you get me. Um, okay, so we have some questions from Twitter. Um, here's a good one right here from Jessica at Jessica Hope. What book could you never reread? Any book I hate. <laughs> and do you have one in particular? The Fountainhead by Ayn Rand, That's anything by Mark Twain, um, any of the Throne of Glass series. Actually, no, I wouldn't say that. I feel like I could reread one the of The first those. two were good. Yeah, I could reread the first two. Um, yeah, probably like those classics that I absolutely despise that I was forced to read for school. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was thinking books that were required reading. Yeah. I could not go back to that because I just have the, the drama. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know what my answer was to this question because, like, The Cursed Child is probably, it's one of my least favorite books. Um, but even that one, I feel like I would reread, like, hate reread it. Like, oh, I could, yeah, I feel like no, I could yeah, reread I that. that. Too. Yeah. <laughs> I think a lot of classics are ones that I couldn't reread because classics a lot of times are so dense that they're very difficult reads and those would definitely be the ones that Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be able to reread. I don't really have one in particular, but any classic that I hated. Yeah. I would also never reread Leah on the offbeat. No, thank you. (laughs) But also like the heart of darkness is so short, but that was my least favorite book I've ever had for required reading. But it's, I, I just couldn't, even though it's only like a hundred pages, it's just the the visceral feelings. If you have any questions, let us know in the chat or on Twitter right now. Um, so we have some, Ooh, I like this one from Jerrica L. Pierce. What are some books you haven't reread yet, but really want to Hannah, which one have you have not reread yet? That's a, that's a question for you. Um, Eliza and her monsters. That's one I really want to reread. Um, what's another one? I don't have my bookshelf, so I can't like look at, look at them to like remember. Um, I haven't reread Clockwork Princess, and I really want to. I reread, yeah, please. I reread the first two, but I haven't reread Clockwork Princess, and I don't know why. That's my favorite Shadowhunters book. Yeah, I've never read either. Like any. Yeah. What else? What else? I brought them with me. An Ember. No, I've reread An Ember in the Ashes. Never mind. 
Um, <laughs> probably, oh, The Astonishing Color of After. That's another one I want to reread too. But I recently reread Evelyn Hugo and that was like on my list to reread. So like did that. We're good. <laughs> yeah, that's the biggest one for me. I haven't reread, um, except for Daisy Jones, I haven't reread any of her books. And then I really want to reread the Hunger Games trilogy because it's yeah. been so mm. long and I only read yeah. it once in like 10th grade. And also, where is Suzanne Collins? I'm going to keep on asking this question till the day I die. Where did she go? Uh, um, also, The Diviners, because the next book is coming out in February of 2020. And there's a cover and there's a, I'm, when did this all happen? They just dumped it on us and like walked away. Um, but I really want to reread that so that I can continue on with the series. Or I guess I should, I could just read a synopsis. I tend to reread the first book so that I can continue on and then I never continue on. So I've read the first book of many series many times. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, Radio Silence would be good. Oh, I need to reread The Raven Boys. Yeah, I want to reread series. that too. I read the first book a couple of times, but I haven't reread the series as a whole. What about you, Haley? I just had a video go up today. <laughs> literally Let us know. Question. Um, go watch Haley's yeah, so, video. <laughs> it just so, like, that wasn't even planned. I didn't know no. what we were doing today. I just happened to have it scheduled for the same day. But um, the major one that is also in that video, but um, the major one that I think of that I really want to reread is Harry Potter. Because I've only read it once the whole way through. The first three books I've read twice. So I would only really twice? like to. Yeah, because I only read it all for the first time. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Um, so I would really like to reread them, especially because some of them I only have listened to the audiobook for. So I want to like actually physically read them. But I need to wait until I'm like out of my reading slump which I'm still like I'm kind of out but like still you know it's still there so I need to wait until like I'm fully ready for like an immersive fantasy like that I like it um so okay I want to know anybody who's watching right now do you are you against rereading books because all of us are pretty pro reading books but I want to know like does anyone hate to like reread it? Do you have like a really good memory or you just want to experience something new? Because I'm like Hannah, I rewatch the same shows all the time and I rewatch the same movies and I just like, I, I don't really move on with my life. I just like to find one thing that works and keep on watching it. I'm but, so opposite in that sense. Yeah. I move on right away. I'm you done with it. You've rewatched Drag Race, though. Oh, my God. I've rewatched Drag Race. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you're not the opposite. So many times. Literally, last week's episode, I rewatched three times. <laughs> last week's? Oh, goodness. Yeah. Uh, so good. Could not stop. Um, I literally saw, like, a tweet or something, maybe on Instagram today, that was, like, uh, it was on Instagram that was like a meme about watching The Office for the 12th time versus like watching anything new or reading anything new. And I was like, this is a call out. This is me. I've seen The Office so many times. I, mean, with I want recreation. to rewatch it, but like I'm stopping myself from rewatching it because I get so obsessed with TV shows, obviously. <laughs> I mean, Drag Race is a perfect example of that. Um, but I get so obsessed that I'll stop reading. Like right now I'm watching Shit's Creek and I haven't been doing anything else else i haven't been doing like any reading so i've been wanting to rewatch the office but it's so long that i'm like do that to yourself <laughs> you won't see me for like months <laughs> uh here's one from sarah la flamme la flame la flamme uh what is one book you change your opinion on after you're reading it well mine was me that, that was twilight like two seconds ago so no I, I mean, I didn't change my opinion on Twilight after rereading it. I hated it, like, after I read Breaking Dawn, so. Um. <laughs> I was still on board, and that shows who I was as a 12-year-old. <laughs> I was like, I can overlook that. Who cares? There's Edward and Bella are together. That's all that matters. I hated <laughs> Renesmee, though, like, with a fiery passion. Yeah. So, who knows? Um, I don't know if there's a book that I've changed my opinion on after rereading it because all the ones I reread are just the ones that I like deeply, deeply love. And I haven't like, besides Twilight, I haven't really, well, okay, I guess City of Bones. Um, Cause I did read that again while I was, when I was a little bit older and I was like, this isn't as like heart wrenching as I remember it being like this angst between Jace and Clary isn't like as angst, I mean, as angsty as I now like, it's more just like, 
y'all need to chill. It was your um, stepping stone to the end yeah, you are true, at now. <laughs> true. Um, so I guess that one, that would be one for me. I think that would be mine as well, because there's not really any others like I pulled up my Goodreads and I can't even see any most times I'll like read a book think I really like it and then like think about it for a little bit and then I'll be like mm, maybe I didn't like it that much that's why I try and like wait a little bit mm -hmm. um before rating it on Goodreads but I think City of Bones like I reread the initial three when uh City of Heavenly Fire came out and I was just starting my channel so I reread the initial three and like enjoyed them but I didn't love them as much so I would say that would be one that I changed my opinion on but like I didn't hate it yeah you know it was just I'm older now and it just didn't yeah feel that's how I much. feel about that too I don't think it yeah. was because I reread it that I realized I don't actually like it as much as I used to I think it was just like I got older and I was like I just don't think this is what I like as much now yeah so that's still but your opinion's changing. It's still yeah. It's still but it wasn't because of the reread, so I don't think I have one that's like because of the reread. Yeah, a lot of the times it's books that I read. I haven't reread that like any of Cassandra Clare's books. Um, not a lot like the initial two, initial three. Um, but I think the thing is that a lot of the time the ones that I change my opinions on are ones that I read in like elementary school or middle school and I imagine in such a different way than it actually is in reality like Twilight like I was in such a daze when I read that and I there had so many emotions and memories attached to it that I think I built it to a bigger thing than it actually was and so now when I reread it currently I saw it for like what it was so yeah I think that's a lot of the things with like old childhood books I don't know well we yeah. all grow you know yeah yeah um, there's a question that's kind of related to that that we got on Twitter as well. Um, so this question is from Book Dragon, and it is, do you not reread a book because you're afraid you'll like it less? And I feel like definitely I'm hesitant to do rereads for two reasons. One is because I feel guilty about it, and I feel like I should be. Like, I have so many books that I haven't even gotten the chance to read yet, so I feel bad about it. Um but the other reason is for sure because I'm afraid that my opinion will change and I'll be like, well, wh who am I then? You know, like, I do really want to reread books like the initial Grisha trilogy. I really loved it when I first read it, but I also, like, it was one of the first trilogies that I read when I started BookTube. The selection series, I loved, and I'm very <laughs> sure that I would hate it if I read it now. So, I couldn't reread it, but I was like, oh my God, this is the best thing ever. Like, <laughs> I loved it so much. And Throne of Glass is another one that I'm like, I don't know if I would enjoy it as much, but they are books like the selection. I feel like I'll never reread because I just would like to like remain in my mind as what it was. But um, the other books I definitely do want to reread, but I'm hesitant because obviously like I'm a different person now. I'm more critical. So rereading it just, I'm like, oh, what if I hate it? I don't know. Well, that's the problem with um, recommendation videos is that like I'm I'm hesitant to make recommendation videos because I might want to recommend a book that I read a couple of years ago and I really liked at that time. But now I'm like, my opinions have changed. I am more critical as well. So I'm, I'm really hesitant to do those because it's like, I don't know. Yeah, also, that's why I want to reread every book before I recommend it to somebody, but that's kind of impossible. <laughs> I feel pretty secure in my opinions on books. <laughs> I, I love, love it. I'm sorry. I love it. Oh I God. feel like when I read something, like I know that I like it or I don't like it, and like for the most part, unless it's like a, I was like, no, I'm not saying like my opinions are always right, and like I can never change my opinion on something because I can never be wrong. That's not what I'm saying at all. But like now, for the most part, like I know myself enough, and I know what I like enough um, to be able to recommend something. And I also know when I like something just because it's me versus if I objectively think this is a good book. Um, and again, that's not to say that I can never have a wrong opinion. I can never like think that a book is good and then I'll forever think that it's good because that's not true. <laughs> no, but you're perfect, um, Hannah. Just uh, come yeah, out and perfect. say it. Sorry. Um, <laughs> but no, I like I I don't know. I just feel pretty secure in my wow. opinions on what I think about books or anything really. <laughs> anything that I'd recommend. What's it like to know yourself so well? <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is I know myself now. 
but it's the fact that like I did I don't think I knew who I was back when I reread yeah. like I would I go and like recommend early John Green because I loved it when I read it in high school but mm, but like not sure if I would recommend like looking for Alaska but see like my question though because like I genuinely want to know because like for example like I loved the Fault in Our Stars when I read the Fault in Our Stars mm -hmm. I was like 12 or 13 or something and I was obsessed with that book too but like now when I think about the Fault in Our Stars I'm like it wasn't like that good so like I know I wouldn't recommend it and I don't have to like reread it so like is it because you don't remember what happens in the book or like what's well, the fact know. that it's been so long and I've heard so many other people's opinions so I've heard a lot of people's negative opinions and I'm like mm -hmm. oh I agree with like how you're saying this and like that makes sense but I'm not sure how much of it like what's the combination of like hearing other people's opinions and like do it's kind of muddled my original mm -hmm. thoughts and that like it's I don't know if that makes any no, sense. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. So I'm not, I can't be as objective. Like I have other people's opinions coming in at the same time. And that was, okay. that was it with Twilight too. Like I, you reread it and you were telling me things and I'm like, mm, like I, I understand what you're saying, but also I like, I need to read it for myself to understand like where you're coming from. And I ended up agreeing with everything you said, but I still need to see it firsthand. But like, I have an inkling that I'm not going to like the book as much. Mm -hmm. I'm just not like solid on it. Uh, we have another question from Twitter and this one is from Ngauri Rice. So would you ever reread a book you hate just to solidify your opinion? I totally yeah. would. Yeah. <laughs> like of I course. would reread Cursed Child and just absolutely hate it the entire time, but like highlight all the parts I hate the most. Totally. Like to solidify my opinion, like to myself, or like to prove to someone else why I think it's bad. I would say to yourself, like not to prove. Oh, like anyone, I know it's bad. Like, I don't have to read not it again. like you know. <laughs> 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 oh, so sure of herself, and I just like to like hate read though. So that's. I it's mean, true because you're a masochist. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. So but, I don't like, know I get if it though. I would also my hate opinion, read. or if it's just to. No, I think I have, like, a pretty solid opinion. I just want to experience the hatred again, I guess. It would depend on how much time I would have to invest in it. I mean, like, to be fair, there are times, like, I won't reread the whole book, but there are times where, like, I'll go back into Breaking Dawn just to, like, laugh at parts that I hate, just because I think it's funny. <laughs> you named my daughter after the last I'm not kidding. I can find that page by just naturally opening the book. Like, uh, like that's how much I've reread that part because I hate it and I just need to laugh at it all the time. You hate that, that line? Oh no, I mean, I love the line. I hate the book. I hate that that happened. <laughs> you don't you should like add that talent to your resume, please. I add it to my resume. Please. But no, I'm pretty solid when I, when I dislike a book. I'm not as solid when I look back and think that I liked a book. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. more, more confident in my hatred. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I feel like hatred like seems like such a stronger emotion. That's why I you feel like it's more, so like, easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so easy to like bond with someone over like a mutual hatred. So I think that totally makes sense. I have more. Well, I have more like references when I dislike something. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I have more things I can tell somebody why I dislike it. But when I love a book, I might have still. I might still have some points, but it'll be more like the overall effect of the book. I yeah, really it's like an abstract. Of, like, yeah. I love this one line. And that's why I love the whole book. But, uh, oh, this one from Average Joe Reads. Would you rather reread a one star book you hated or a three star book that was okay but boring? A one star, one -star, -star book. I hated. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, then I can just relive my hatred and it's funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Three star books sometimes feel like a waste of time. So, yeah. I they take so much longer to get it. through. Mm -hmm. They do. When you, when you uh, hate something, you're just like, yeah, yeah, give me more, yeah. give me more. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like when you have like average feelings about something, it's just like mm -hmm. meh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I really one... like. Oh sorry. oh, sorry. No, no, I was going to move on, but you go. Oh, I, I was going to say, I really like this question um, from Twitter. Um, has rereading a book ever helped you out of a reading slump? I do that a lot to get out of reading slumps. So, mm -hmm. yes, for me. That's mm -hmm. like a piece of advice that I give, but never follow. <laughs> most of my life I give very good advice but I very seldom follow it Alice reference you're welcome thank you 
You need to reread it again more than Honest. only five times. That's just I know wow. you're fake, Haley. I yeah. truly am. <laughs> you have to read. You have to read it as many times for like as many copies as you own. So you have to read it like at least <laughs> seventy times. I, I just like that to justify, I yeah, to justify owning that many. You just do like Ooh. a month where you reread it from every single copy you have. Yeah, video <laughs> idea. There you go. We're giving you money. I read 73 books in one day or whatever. There you go. I got you your next 100K video. Yes! <laughs> Beautiful. I can't uh, wait. This one from, from Notado. Notado? Notado? Uh, think this got lost, but do you guys reread books in preparation for the next book in a series? Yes, I do that all the time. And that's that's something that sometimes it's really helpful and I like doing it, but sometimes it does feel like a time waster because there are sites like Recaptains where you can just reread the synopsis. Um, and usually it's that I reread the book like the year before and rereading it again does feel like a waste of time, but sometimes I do it anyway, just for fun. Um, but it depends like how long ago I watched, uh, how long ago I read it and how much I enjoy the series. But I reread Lady Midnight three times because every before I read it when it first came out and then I reread it before Lord of Shadows came out. And then I reread it before Queen of Air and Darkest came out. And I still haven't read that. So sometimes it gets in the way of like moving on with your life. So yeah, that's what I would do. I would never move on if I just reread like before a book in a series came out. Okay. I would never get to anything new. No. I don't <laughs> reread the books before the new book comes out. I do like occasionally if I just feel like rereading the series. Um, like I did it with an ember in the ashes because I wanted to and like I love that series but I don't usually do it because one I'll like either watch my own review or someone's review of the book um, and or I can just like go on like websites and like look up something that happened if I don't remember a detail but for the most part like unless I read the book like years and years and years ago I'll remember everything as I start reading the next wow. book so. and that's something that I'm going to stop doing because you so you can finally read queen of air and darkness <laughs> but do i want to that's the question you do want to because you have to read the next one but you were you just like complained about it to me so i'm scared <laughs> i mean i just complained about parts i didn't say it was bad parts of it are bad in my opinion but like you still need to read it uh, but yeah, no, I definitely agree with watching video reviews, especially if you do Goodreads reviews as well, rereading yeah. that or rereading other people's reviews as well. Even like, mm -hmm. I like to read people's negative reviews of books that I like, especially after I reread them. It's fun to get Why? to know other people's perspectives. I don't know. Uh, stop. Okay. okay I'm, I'm confident in that answer. So stop <laughs> bringing me down Hannah, when I'm finally confident on something. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, but I, I think it's, if it came out more than, if I read it more than two years ago, I think I would reread it. Maybe. One time when City of Heavenly Fire came out, so I read the first 100 pages, like, the day that it came out, and then I read the rest of the book, and that book is, like, 600 pages or something. I don't know. It's long. I read, like, the rest of the book two or three years later, and I didn't reread anything before it. I didn't look up a recap. But you remembered it? Yeah. Oh my god. What was it like being a genius <laughs> with a photographic memory? I was, I was memory. so invested in the Shadowhunters world that like it wasn't like I was going to forget anything. Mm -hmm. I've forgotten so many details from that series. Yeah, me too at this point. But Except about Christina and Mark and Kieran. That is lasered into this noggin right here. <laughs> I don't even remember those characters. <laughs> they're, they're in the series you, you haven't, haven't read. read them. You haven't oh, read it. Beautiful. You're fine. I'm sitting You're here fine. and I'm like, who are these people? They're in City of Bones. They're the main characters. Um, yeah. Haley. <laughs> oh my god. So it's um, not Jason Clary? No, not at all. <laughs> okay. If you have any more questions, oh. let us know. Um. Okay, so how do you decide which book you will reread? From This is from Lena and underscore Neko. How do you decide which book you will reread and how do you make time for these books? I always feel mm -hmm. a little bit bad because my TBR is so big. It just happens. I'm like, I, I'm looking at my bookshelves and I'm like, oh yeah, I could reread all of these books that I have on my TBR shelf right here. Or I could do something super fun and forget about that and read something for the 20th time. 
Goodreads counts rereads now, so yeah. mm -hmm. it's legal. I don't think of it as like something I have to make time for. Mm -hmm. Like if I want to reread a book, it's still it's still reading a book. It's not like you're cheating or something. Yeah, um, but you, you usually read it faster too. Yeah, because you've read it before. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, I don't think of it as something I have to make time for. Like if I, my method to rereading a book is my method to reading any book. If I feel like reading it, I do it. Um, everything I do is based off of my mood. It's not good. <laughs> I wish I was so secure and confident and didn't need the approval of others. <laughs> wow. Oh my is this a therapy session in order to put Mark to will never know the difference between the two? <laughs> Oh my god. Um I like I struggle to make time for it because I I just I have so many books. So that's why I don't get to do it often. Like I've been saying that I want to reread Harry Potter for so long. Like so long and I still haven't done it. So I guess like Zoe said, it just kind of happens when I finally pick it up. Mhm. Mm there's no method to it. I just feel guilty. And then I'm like, I guess I'll do it anyways. You shouldn't feel guilty. Let yourself enjoy things. Goodreads allows it. <laughs> yeah, has, you, there has, you go. Approval you so much from Goodreads. Guilty. Yeah. You get approval from Goodreads and you're getting approval from me. So like, there you go. The two, the two most two important people. powers in the reading world. <laughs> Honestly. Oh. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Uh, who else so hates funny. Hannah today? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, no, but um, I love that so much. I love that you just you just she do the knows thing. what she wants, and she does. You know, I don't know what I want. I know. You know, I can't I make the decisions. That's why I'm telling you that you that I'm making the decision for you that you're allowed to reread books without feeling Thank guilty. You. You're welcome. Amazing. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> oh boy. I so okay. <laughs> I I okay. Do we have any questions on the chat? Uh oh, this one from Blush Songbird. Have you ever reread a book and then rated it differently? Do you change your if you already have the book on Goodreads, do you go back and change the star rating? Do you average the two star ratings together? Do you put in the description of like your review what your previous star rating was? Like, how do you? I know you don't do a lot of reviews on Goodreads. You usually just put your star rating or that you read it. But mm -hmm. I do reviews, so I'm wondering how do you use Goodreads while you are rereading books? Um, I don't think I've ever gone back and changed my rating of a book. That that might not be true. I might have done that. I don't remember though. Um, but I, I can tell you what I would do, which I wouldn't average it. I would just do it based on what my rating of it is now. Mm -hmm. So if my, like, if I rated a book three stars and then I read it again and I decide that it's actually two stars, I'll just give it two stars. Yeah, I would do the same, but yeah. I don't think I've ever done it. The one is City of Bones, but I hadn't. I didn't have Goodreads when I first read it. Goodreads didn't exist. So I just went with my rating now for that. I have averaged my st my star ratings together. And then I put in each, well, what I've been thinking of doing is putting in each review because I'll have my original review if I had original review. And then I'll have the updated one and then I'll put the star rating in there. But usually I want to average my star rating because I still want to give like a nod to my former self and be like, yeah, like I'll, I'll I don't know. <laughs> but like with Twilight, like my reread, I probably would give it a two star. But like when I first read it, five star. So I'm like, maybe I'll give it a three star because of nostalgia. I give, I, I just care about my reads so much. <laughs> you do. I overthink everything, okay? <laughs> uh, okay. Um, do, do, do. Oh, okay. This um, Vanessa says, when I reread a book, I update the review with the date I reread it and my rating change and why. I update the star rating as well. Okay. I like that other people think about this too. <laughs> I see. Yeah, I see plenty of people do that on their um, yeah. Goodreads reviews. Like when they list their rereads, they change like they they write their uh, star rating for each reread. Like fourth reread, it's like three stars or whatever. Um, and like 
I mean, I appreciate that. I think it's cool to like read through those, but like, I don't care enough about my Goodreads. It's literally just for me to track how many books I've read. Same. <laughs> I care. <laughs> no, one else, no one else does. It's just for you. It's, it's my site now. <laughs> Zoe oh reads. <laughs> Zoe reads goodly. That's my new name. Ha, 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 ha. This one from... This one from Amandine August. Have you guys ever reread a book and ended up DNFing it? Like you don't finish rereading it because you are not liking it? Or I'm not going to count like you get busy and put it down because that has happened a lot. Like I'll pick up Pride and Prejudice and I just want to like start it. And then I end up being like, oh, no, I need to read a book for school or something like that. And I put it down. But have you ever not wanted to continue reading it because you're not enjoying it as much as you thought you would? No. Because I only reread my favorite books. So, I mean, there are times like, for example, the first time I started rereading The Night Circus, um, I didn't finish rereading it. I read like half of it and then I just didn't keep reading it because I didn't feel like reading it at the time. But I don't think that counts um, for what the question is asking. But yeah, I, I don't do that because I only really reread my favorite books. I, um, what was the question again? <laughs> You ever started rereading a book and DNF'd it? I listened to everything you said and then I looked away and I saw the Cheshire Cat in the teacup and I forgot everything. I forgot where I was. I was just like, the Cheshire Cat in the teacup. You've been oh my taking God. the drugs that he took. As wow. Okay. Osmosis, um, man. <laughs> so I only recently started DNFing. So, no. That's my mm -hmm. answer. There was a I lot of have, when I was obsessed with Divergent in 10th grade, 9th grade, I reread that book so many times, um, but then I didn't want to do that anymore because I, <laughs> like, I what I did is that for, like, a week or something, I just kept rereading it. Uh, we'll never get that last Allegiant movie. Womp womp. I, I, I never watched any, I only watched the first movie. <laughs> I never watched the other one. <laughs> Uh, uh, there was one. Oh, dang it. Dang it. I lost it. Talk amongst yourself. <laughs> How you doing, Hannah? I'm oh, this one from KRD. Oh, <laughs> would you read a DNF to give it another chance? No. No. Oh, I would. No. I would for sure. A or else I would time... never give up. Oh, a lot of the time it's it's motivated by other people. I'll DNF a book or I'll forget that I'm reading a book and then accidentally put it down. Um, and then people will tell me, oh, I really like that. And then I'll give it another chance. So I've done that so many times. Or other times I'll like see somebody on YouTube or something has hauled it or like done a review of it or something and then I'll give it another chance. I don't no, DNF I don't. books often enough, I think, mm. to do that in the first place. Like I like Haley, I just recently started like DNFing books when I really just don't feel like reading them. Welcome um, I, part of the world. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's like, there's a difference. Sometimes I DNF a book because I just don't feel like reading it in the moment. And then there's the other kind of DNF where like, I don't like this enough to keep reading. And for those, I'm never gonna like read those, like reread it. Um, yeah. But for the ones that I just like put down, I will reread the part that I had already read um, to keep reading. Yeah, I have a separate shelf on Goodreads for put down for now books for books that like I started and like they were good, but I just wasn't really in the mood for them. But straight up DNFs, like I need to commit to it. I need to get over my commitment issues about it because if I were listening to what other people like what they are saying, I would never, ever give up on anything just because I know myself because I'm like, well, this random person commented on my video and really liked it, but everyone else has hated it. So obviously that means that I might be missing out on something. So <laughs> I need to read it. I just, I know myself and I need to like ignore the opinions of other people and just like try and channel my inner Hannah and read what I want, read things I'm going to enjoy and just commit to stopping with things that I won't like and putting them down forever and ever. I also like unhaul them right after. So mm. I DNF like half the books that I read. You also forget you're reading things though. Yeah. And I never. That's another form of DNFing. I mean, I haven't done that. That was when I was in school and I mm. was like an English major and had to read so many books for class. And I would start a book. I, I never 
it, they were usually books that I was like 50 pages into. Mm-hmm. Like I wasn't more than halfway through. If I was more than halfway through, I wouldn't like forget that I was reading it. But it's books that I started and then school got in the way. But since I graduated, I haven't done that. Yeah. So, in okay. case you were worried about me. We were. <laughs> Hannah's never worried about me. <laughs> <laughs> She's perfect. She doesn't need to focus on anybody else. Oh my god! <laughs> because you're perfect. Oh. You know what's true? Do the eyelash. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, that's her. <laughs> one iconic uh, moment. This one from oh, I like this one. Um, I combined two different questions, but um, do when you're rereading a book, are you usually just rereading the book, or do you have it on the side while you are rereading a book? Or well, you are reading a book for the first time. Sorry, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. <laughs> I'm always reading like 20 books at the same time. So yes. How about you, Haley? Um, I read two books at a time because we'll have an audiobook going and um then a um physical book. That's the word that we're looking for here. Um, so I'll have an audiobook and a physical book. So I won't really have more than that. It's very, very rare that I have any more than that. So it'll either be my physical or my, like, it won't be a side read. It will be one of the two. Hmm. Cool. Um, oh, this one from Logan Ford. Do you guys know your Enneagram? I knew you were going to be off topic. That's what I was just looking at. I was like, Zoe's going to say that. Isn't it? <laughs> oh my God. I knew it. Oh, okay. Hannah's a perfect three. The holiest number. Oh my god. For our holiest lady. I'm a three wing four. Thank you very much. I'm a four wing three. We're opposites. Yeah. I'm not I'm a <laughs> I'm a six, but I don't know what my wing is. I think you'd be a five. Actually, yeah, no, I think you would. I'll have but... to read it again and see. He he he. I'm a sense. mess. I'm a four. I'm, I'm sorry. Six is literally the biggest mess. Yeah, that's actually Fear true. Fear really underlies great. everything that I do. Great. <laughs> oh, my God. Maybe that's your, why you're afraid to, like, for your reading. Probably. <laughs> you're like, what if I, I need to read this book because what if it's good? Like, you're just so scared all the time. Uh, and oh, that's why, Hannah, you're so world. secure in your beliefs because you know you're perfect and so you know you will do no oh wrong. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm really trying to boost your ego. Is it working? Yes, thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'm like, Amazing. I'm just really emotional. So I'm like, let's just F it up. Let's just read some bad books. Oh no, someone said I would be a five wing six. No, I'm 1,000% no. a six. Haley's uh, like, have if you've listened to the um, Sleeping at Last songs, like that's how I like was secure in my knowing that I'm a three. Like if you listen to their songs for each of the Enneagram types, like Haley's a six. She's not a five. She's Literally. also a Slytherin. She's not a Hufflepuff. Get out. Yeah, where okay. are you all getting this Hufflepuff mentality from her? Like because I'm so nice. That's why. <laughs> Make sure. you your videos, Haley. <laughs> oh, I'm oh, kidding. No. You know I love you. Oh no amazing you know we oh love you God. because we're making fun of you no, that's the that's purest the form work. of love <laughs> hatred oh my god uh, i can't even complain i do the same thing <laughs> <laughs> oh i like this one from phobie phobie is there a book that you reread every year at a specific time or it, like a book that really encapsulates a time of year so you're like oh i don't want to reread it now i want to reread it like around christmas or around halloween I feel like I read Harry Potter around like fall. Yeah. Um, every time I reread it, it ends up being like fall usually. Mm-hmm. Luckily, that's a series that works with every single season. True. Maybe not like spring, but like summer because his birthday is in July and mm-hmm. like it starts during the summer. And then obviously like Halloween because like magic and then Christmas because Christmas is always such a big deal. It's so cozy. Yeah, I don't really have any like... I'm trying to get myself out of reading certain genres and certain seasons because I would just put off books because I'd be like, oh, that's more of like a fall book. That's more of like a whatever. And it became a major problem. So I'm trying to stop that. But um, I think Harry Potter, too, would be like a fall winter book for me. 
Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think. I think that's the only one I can think of that really gives me, that I've reread, that really gives me a sense of a season. But if I were to reread, like, The Diviners, that would definitely be one that I would have to read during fall. I mean, also, I do the same thing. I postpone reads until, like, the perfect time. So that's something I'm trying, a habit I'm trying to break. Um, so it all, it all works. Yeah. Oh, this one from Jana Ma- Mati. What is your most anticipated series reread? Is there a series that you want to read besides? Like, you obviously said Harry Potter. Um, I think the Raven Boys. I recently was just like thinking. I really feel like rereading that, and um, also the Diviners. Ever since the last book, um, cover and title was released, um, I think the Diviners. Actually, I just I really feel like rereading that series. There's so much to it. I feel like I need to read it more than once. They're such beefy books. My goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely the Raven Boys because I read that series during a 24 hour readathon. So like they all blurred together. <laughs> um, but also I think um, Infernal Devices because I only read that once. Yes. That in, a, in only a couple of days. I read it during spring break, I think in 10th or 11th grade. And I, I remember the feeling it gave me. I remember bawling and crying myself to sleep for like two nights in a row, but I don't remember actually what happened. I really want to marathon them because I read them yeah. like as each one came out. So like I've mm-hmm. never read them all back to back. I read them back to back. So that was yeah. so <laughs> they I also blur together too though. So yeah. Um... Yeah. The Raven Boys and the Infernal Devices are both in my video. Um because I really do want to reread. Buddy them. Reads? Wait, what if we do like a buddy honestly, series reread? Yeah. Yeah, because I don't remember anything about either of them. Specifically Infernal Devices, though, I don't remember like anything because I reread them at the same time that I reread the entire uh, Mortal Instruments series. Mm-hmm. So all of it is just... Um, yeah, I don't want to reread the, infer- uh, the Mortal Instruments. No, I don't I either. want to reread the Infernal Devices. Yeah. But um, yes, please. I would like that yeah. very much. Let's do it. <laughs> um, this one from Larissa Pinto. Is there a series you reread, but find yourself having to skip a book in the series? For example, I can only reread Harry Potter if I skip the first two. That. Oh, every time I re or tr- attempt to reread the entire Harry Potter series, I always make it up to the first four, or maybe I make it to the fifth book, but I never read six and seven, and I don't even know how many times I've reread the seventh book because I'm, I'm just I don't like reading last books in a series. It makes me too sad, and especially with Harry Potter, like, I cannot, cannot. But I think if I were to reread the entire series, I'd either have to read them with the goal in mind to actually finish it and I'd have to give myself a time frame or I'd have to skip the first two or maybe no I would I would read the third book but I reread the first two so many times yeah I do I do the same thing with Harry Potter I always get to like book four and then I just like leave (laughs) (laughs) but I want to just start from book four this time and reread them because I've only read the um last three twice so the first time and then the second time I reread it was last year. Um, or yeah, last year. I also year. never rewatched the last three Harry Potter movies. So Oh, I've seen them a million times. I but. know. I'm just scared of endings. <laughs> wow, that's so telling. <laughs> so many of our things are so telling. <laughs> Amazing. Um, I want to reread the Throne of Glass series, but I feel like I would want to skip Era of Fire just because it's so boring. <laughs> That's the one I stopped. I stopped yeah, it was with that so series boring. So, in theory, I would want to skip it, but it also like it's a bridge book. Like it really sets up for the next one. So then I feel like I can't skip it. But theoretically, that would be the one that I would skip. Oh my gosh! If we reread, reread, reread. Sorry, if that has become a nonsense word at this point. Um, but if we reread, <laughs> reread. <laughs> the infernal devices i can be team gem this time actually i'm not sure would i be i don't know that's another thing that like i've thought about but also i haven't reread it since i've my opinions have changed so i don't actually know we're just gonna have to reread it it'll be fine uh okay uh average joe reads don't bother re-watching the half-blood prince movie excuse me (laughs) i love that movie um, Wan Wan. Stop. Wan Wan. <laughs> Honestly, like those last few movies are not as good, and it's really upsetting. That one is the, the most teenagery two. movie. Yeah. 
Yeah. The last That's why I two. like it. The last two I think I've seen, like, I've seen the first, I want to say I've seen Chamber, and, Chamber of Secrets and um, Prisoner of Azkaban the most. Also Goblet of Fire. Yeah. But I think, yeah, those three I've seen, like, a million times. The other ones I've seen, like, pretty frequently, but, like, the last two I think I've seen twice. No, same it. here. I watched it in the theaters, and I watched with I watched it with my grandma when she came to visit, and we went to Harry Potter World, and she wanted to re- just like, like, binge watch the whole series. Yeah, they're just not really rewatchable, you know. It makes like, they're me just too- so depressing. Yeah, there's like oh, the so reason, few happy elements. The reason I don't that know. it's hard for me to rewatch them is because they di- like they divert so much from the books compared to the mm. other ones that I'm just like this isn't as good. Mm. You don't love camping? You don't love watching camping? I love watching camping and awkward dancing. Amazing. Uh, Sorry, someone asked, I just lost the question. I think it was Rebecca. Um, They asked if I would ever reread The Host. And actually, that's a book I really want to reread. I love that book so much. Me too, because that might be the first one that I reread and I change my opinion on it completely. Because I honestly don't even know how I feel about that book anymore because it's been so long that I don't remember a lot of details. Um, and I read it during that like Twilight phase. So I don't know how much of it was like my love for Twilight that was influencing how much I love it. So I do really want to reread that book. Actually, when I first read it, I reread it twice or I read it twice. The first time I read it, I hated it because I'm like, this is not Twilight. I hate this. How dare she not give us Midnight Sun and said she gives us a, this weird alien book. And then I reread it and then I really enjoyed it. So, but again, I've only seen the movie in theaters. So I just completely forget what happens to that entire thing. Uh, okay. Someone asked, what's your favorite Harry Potter book and movie? Um, my favorite book is the fifth one. And I've, I haven't reread that that many times compared to the other ones. But I don't know. My, fa- my favorite movie is the third one, for sure. Alfonso Cuaron. I wish he directed all the rest of the movies, but alas. Mm. My I'm favorite book. One. You can what? go ahead. Oh, sorry. Um, fine. My favorite book is the seventh one. Sometimes I think it's the fourth, but I think it's the seventh one. And then my favorite movie is Goblet of Fire. I think, despite their terrible haircuts. Um, it, his hair was like shaggy, and that like it worked with like. It was just that year where everybody <laughs> had that haircut, hair was great, and it was just so awful. Yeah. So it's just such a product of its time, but it's fine. It's my favorite of the movies. I mean, it's so fun to rewatch. Cedric's hair was great, and that's all that matters. Yeah, they, just, they really had to show how hot he was by making everyone else look bad. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm between for favorite movie. I'm in between either Prisoner of Azkaban or Goblet of Fire. Favorite book. I don't want to say until I reread. Mm-hmm. I don't know sense yeah i don't know right now Um, we'll see uh from elsa in general how long does it take for you to reread a book um it depends on the book but usually a lot of times i like to take my time with it because i listen to the audiobook before bed but that only is really for the jane austen books and harry potter so it takes me a long time to get through but if i sit down with like the intention to reread it it'll probably take me like a day or two because I have I know what happens. Yeah, for me, it usually just takes a day to reread a book. See, that's one of my issues, is I feel like I should be really quick about it. So then I get really stressed about it. And <sighs> then it takes me, it's a struggle. Um, but it really depends. There's, like, no specific time. Mm-hmm. Um, well, sometimes it's, it's either you take, like, a long time to reread it like there's there's two types of rereaders the ones who like like to be in that world and so they're like taking their time with it and other ones who are just like yeah give me the good stuff I'm gonna like hurry until I get to my favorite parts and I just like want to consume it as quick as possible so yeah. uh this one from Ebony Filbert do you have any books that you reread when you're sad to cheer you up and if so what are they I have an entire video about emergency comfort reads which are a lot of like the ones that when I'm feeling like very anxious or something, I'll listen to or I'll reread. But Harry Potter is definitely one of them. And that's why I'm currently <laughs> rereading the first book. Um, also, I love the Anne of Green Gables audiobook and uh, both of the Sense and Sensibility and Pride and Prejudice ones from uh, Rosamund Pike. And 
can't think of any more right now. What about you? Um, I usually just reread parts of my favorite books. That's kind of what's comforting to me. There isn't like a specific book I go to when I'm like sad or something to cheer me up. I just like will reread like my favorite section in The Night Circus or my favorite section in Harry Potter or something like that. Yeah, I think um, either Anne of Green Gables or Alice in Wonderland. Not the book thief. It's a favorite, but it's so sad. Yeah, yeah. no, that's not going to make you feel better when you're like, I'm no. so sad. I'm going to read this depressing book. Yeah, uh, exactly. So do we want to talk about um, our booktuber of the week? Why, yes, let's do that. Our booktuber of the week is Kevin from Irish Reader. And I asked him the other day to give me some fun facts about himself, a little bio. So he wrote this himself. Just it's letting so you know. Good. It's <laughs> um, so good. <laughs> some fun facts about Kevin that he gave to us. Hopelessly single and in love with his resand, resand, resand pillow resand, and chicken nuggets. <laughs> You're not hopelessly single. I just want to let you know, Kevin, we love you. Um, a video he's proud of was his latest one where he went 24 hours without his phone to see how much reading he could, he could get done. And his favorite book to reread is Simon vs. a Homo Sapiens Agenda, which he's read three times. Yeah. yeah, his yeah, link is in did. the description box if you want to go and check him out. He's wonderful. Highly recommend. He did a video about I think it was rereading books that he hated. So <laughs> go and check that out. Very on brand. Yes, <laughs> Kevin, you aren't hopelessly single. <laughs> <laughs> He's commenting oh. this. How dare you? No, positive, mm -hmm. positive vibes we're sending your way. Amazing. Uh, so is that everything? I think so, yeah. Yeah. We went off topic okay. a few times, but hopefully you still enjoyed it. <laughs> um, but thank you all so much for being here with us and for chatting with us about rereading books. Next week, we are going to be on Zoe's channel, right? With Lala from Books and Lala. We're oh, talking yeah. about readathons with her, the queen of readathon blogs. Yeah. So we're going to have a real fun time on my channel, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be there or watch it later. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're really excited about that. Also, just to remind you guys, we are still reading Scythe as our book club book of the month. For It'll this month, our live show is on Haley's channel on, what's the date? I, April 20 something? something. It's this oh, Sunday, no. it's the 27th. No, the no, 27th. 28th. 28th. 28th, thank you. April 28th, Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and we're going to be talking about the book. So if you have read it already, or if you are planning on reading it, you still have plenty of time to read it and join us and talk about the book. So yeah, I think that pretty much covers it. Um, but thank you all for being here. I hope you enjoyed watching this and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.